What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, this is a huge comparison video here. Uh, there have been a lot of leather cases out there that I've reviewed, and these are from, I think, the three big manufacturers. We've got Nomad, we've got Moment, and we've got Apple. These are some of your highest priced, highest quality. Now, before we jump into it here, I do want to let you know here that there is no sponsorship with this video. None of these companies did reach out to me and give these to me for free. I purchased these with my own money. So you know that my bias is sincere and this comes from um, honestly a genuine perspective. With that said, these are my opinions. If you guys disagree, let me know. Uh, down below in the links in the descriptions, however, will be product pricing and availability. Those are affiliate links and do help out the channel if you guys want to support. I also recently did a full review of the Ultimate Bundle from the folks at Moment. They did co just come out with this case. That's why I'm doing this big review of these three. It comes with a wrist strap for your Apple Watch as well as AirPods. It's really, really cool. Check that out, guys, up above in the cards. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this and show you guys what the differences are. There they are. Here it is. My goodness. Here we go. All right. I want to begin here with the weight. Okay. Starting with a uh, moment here. The moment case comes at 1.2 ounces. The Nomad 1.5 ounces. Apple 1.1 ounces. So Apple's giving you the least amount of product. Uh, I don't know if that's leather here, but it's a little bit more. It's about 10% more than uh, moment has 10% more than the Apple. For you guys on the other side of the world here, Nomad is 43 grams, Moment is 35 grams, and Apple is 29 grams. So you can tell the differences between those. As far as shape, it looks like uh, the Nomad is a little bit bigger just because it does have um, two different parts to it. You don't have the leather that wraps all the way around. You do have this polycarbonate base here around the edge for protection and the uh, the leather itself just goes up to the edge. Both of the Apple and the Moment, they do have leather that wraps all the way around into the back side of it as you guys can see and uh, it doesn't have Harwin leather necessarily. I think these are vegan leathers but they're real nonetheless. Uh, out of the package here, the Apple was the cleanest. Nomad had a few dings. Moment did have like this crease right here, as you can see, which kind of bothers me. Additionally here, they all have metallic uh, protrusions for the, the lens here to make sure that uh, if it does land on its face, it doesn't hit the lenses, which is nice, the camera module. I like how that's metal. Coming up closer here to the buttons, as you can see, they're all metallic in nature. Uh, the Nomad is grooved here so you can grip. The Apple does have like this protrusion here, like it dips into it. The Moment has a embossed logo here uh, with a metallic uh, metal button. On the inside, they're all MagSafe compatible, as you can see. Even the Nomad, they all use different uh, materials on the inside. The Nomad is a little bit more rigid. It's got more of a cork feel and it doesn't depress. The Moment here has like kind of this... Uh, felt lining but uh, it seems like it's polycarbonate i can feel that it's uh, a lot less rigid than the nomad and then the apple here is the least rigid here but has been very structurally sound with kind of this felt on the back as you can see the bottoms here have punch outs the nomad's the only one that has a uh, a little strap holder here for your wrist strap the others don't the, Mo the nomad is the only one here that has a wrist strap compatibility uh, that may have an issue with maybe some of the structure, but the last six months it's been fine. I haven't had anything break here. The Apple has it completely punched out. The Moment has holes punched out for the uh, audio. As you can see the volume rocker and the punch out for the Do Not Disturb. It looks like the Apple is the smallest than no Moment, the Nomad. Uh, buttons are the biggest on the Nomad. Around the top, it just looks great. Looking at the patina here, this is the most aged I got this one first here, as you can see, it's bumped, it's scratched. The leather itself does not wrap all the way around. It kind of just gets tucked here on this edge here, which is fine. I've dropped this a number of times and it hasn't damaged the corner of the leather. However, it is prone here for these edges to get, you know, scuffed and bumped and scraped, which, uh, you know, I don't really appreciate here. On the Apple, I've had it about one month less. And you can see there isn't as much damage here. I don't know if that's because I haven't been as rough, but you can see it still held its form really, really well. You do have some depression. As you can see, the MagSafe here has kept 
a lot of the weathering here from happening because, well, this is how I charge it every day. The newest of the bunch is the is the moment here, as you guys can see, that is a clean patina. Well, it's a clean leather, hasn't patinaed yet, uh, but it looks really nice as it is a manufacturer similar to the Apple where it's wrapped all the way around the edge here. There's no extra protection here on the inside. Whereas the Nomad, as you can see here, they've carefully crafted into here some engineered holes or like pockets so that air, when it gets trapped there, ideally it's supposed to prevent um, or at least provide additional protection against uh, those uh, harmful falls. Placing them in the phone, the only difference here is that the Apple leather has this animation as you can see. I have a couple of MagSafe devices. We got this Oezel 8000 milliamp battery. It allows you to charge no problem through the case. We've got the uh, MagSafe battery pack from Apple which just recently updated to the latest firmware to, to allow you to have 7.5 uh, watts of charging which is super fast. It doesn't have as much uh, battery life as this. Moving over to the moment case here, as you can see, a weasel is going to be able to connect right on there. You can see that it's going to start charging through MagSafe with no problem as it takes a second there. You can see I'm already fully charged. You can also charge here through uh, pass through if you wanted with other products. Let's throw on the Apple MagSafe. This one is going to show the animation super fast and start charging really fast as well. The moment is going to uh, hold the charge just fine as well. It pulls MagSafe. It's not, it's not like super tight. I think the leather is a little bit tighter here. As you can see, the, the notification hit while I dismissed it. Apple, it's able to pull through it as well. Now with the phone in the case, as you can see here, there is a tiny bit of a lip here on the edge of the Nomad. It does uh, protrude out so when it lands on its face, it's not going to be scratching the screen. It also doesn't impede on my screen protector, which is nice. Buttons are very clicky, although it isn't as, as pronounced as other cases. Power button is nice and grippy here as well. You can see it fits just nicely here in the camera bump, which I really like. Backside here, you have the opportunity to put a wrist strap. Continuing on with the Apple uh, case here, you can see that it, it, this one I think is the most snug. You can see that it does protrude a little bit higher, maybe a 32nd of an inch uh, than the Nomad. Uh, it does indent here and these are very, very clicky. You do have access to the Do Not Disturb and uh, there's no problem here with these. I like how this is cut all the way through instead of having the holes, uh, but this one feels the lightest as it is and it just is the most homely. Lastly, we've got the Moment case. It fits very well, very snug, but uh, I'm noticing here right where the, uh, the the camera module is, is I don't think it's tooled properly where it fits perfectly because I can push it in and out. So that's one thing that I noticed about this case. Otherwise, it looks really, really clean. I love the black leather, how it matches my, my graphite and black leather strap from Moment. This does protrude up a little bit higher than all of them from what it seems like. It's nice. It's, it's you know, when it hits the table, it's not going to scratch the screen as well as on the back side here. You can see that as well. Another drawback here is the punch out here for the speaker. I don't think that's going to like necessarily uh, prevent audio from coming through, but I, I like having the full punch out here. It just looks a little bit better, more uniform. Well, Ponyos, that about does it here. This is a very, very difficult decision here. Honestly, uh, I mean, it, it all depends on what you're deciding to do here. If you want to have all of your Apple products, your cases, your wrist strap from your Apple watch all be the same color, then you can opt into the Apple. Nomad has the same thing as well. If you wanted to have the uh, the strap for your Apple Watch as well as your AirPods and your case you can definitely elect into that whole set as well as Moment I mean each one of them have their own curated bundle here this is a hard choice these are all three fantastic products and as it stands here I probably would go with uh, Apple because Apple right now has actually slashed some of their prices leading up to the new phone coming out. Nomad is a smaller company, so you're gonna see less of, uh, of the deals going on here in Apple. And moment here, this case was out of stock for like eight months. It took eight months for this case to get to me. And so 
if it comes to availability, then maybe the Apple leather is the one that you want to go for. However, if you want to match your lifestyle and you've got everything else on a different brand, then consider that as well. Well, there is my take, guys. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. If you guys are interested in any of these other products, up above in the cards or down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. With that said, guys, hit that like button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.